Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how you can make a counter in Minecraft. So, a counter is something well basically increments when you ask it to do so. So before I actually start building it, you might ask me in the comments, how is this even gonna be useful? Some people may not ask it, but just so that my comments don't get fluted with these questions, I will answer why this may be useful. So mainly this is useful in like program counter. So program counter is a CPU component. So when you're making a CPU, right? Um, a CPU needs to read from a new line of program memory uh, in order to load multiple code at the same time, opcode actually. So if you don't have any program counter, it will always just read one line. So with a program counter, a CPU can now read from the next line of program memory. So a clock has ticked, right? So clock has completed. So when it when it actually does, so it just goes ahead, increments the program counter, and that's it. it. The CPU now reads from the next line of program memory, and therefore it loads a new operation. And you can also reset this program counter, and usually this is being useful when resetting program counter. Um, other than program counter, what is this also useful for is stack pointers. This is another CPU component. Now, stack pointer takes a lot of to explain. I know what is it and I have built it, but it takes a lot to explain, so I'm not going to complain about it. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the building. So, I will build two types of uh, counters. So, first one is binary counter. Second one is hexadecimal counter. And actually, I don't remember how to make the hexadecimal counter. So, without further chatting, let's start. So first, I'm gonna create a block under myself. Oh God, not these graphical issues. Well, I have. Them. Also, I will use orange wool because that's the color coding I use in my CPU for program counter. That program counter it includes this counter. So I will make a 3-bit example, but this counter can be like 8-bit, but um, yeah, that's very little. First, you gotta go ahead and start with the XOR gate, and we're just gonna replicate it 3 times, like this. So this is because I wanna have 3 bits, so that's why I'll have this. Also, graphical issues, that's bad. Also, you might be wondering, why you don't, why are we like minimizing the Minecraft window and resizing it again? How is that even fixing it? But as you saw, it actually fixes the problem. But what's problematic is that when I keep it like this and keep building, my computer eventually crashes. It gives me a blue screen, um, says my PC ran into a problem. And in case of water, stop code is Fred stuck in device driver. But that's for um, other stuff that's not Minecraft stuff. I have no idea what is it related to Minecraft, but I'll go through it. Now, I don't think I remember this part. Oh my goodness. I haven't built this thing for so long already. But I guess it's like this. Yeah, definitely. It seems like so. I'll put blocks like this in here. And actually, it should be like this. So, two of these repeaters should be free text so that everything is synchronized and working properly. Also, I forgot to mention that this is not my design. So, I did not implement this. So, Remember that I did not actually build this originally, but I just want you guys so you can have actually something that is useful. So I'll just demonstrate how you can build it for you guys. So now let's also replace this block like that with this. And then what I'll do, I'm gonna go ahead and put something like that. So essentially what is this gonna do? It is now it's gonna start and loop. So. That is for right now. We're gonna change it later. Right now, don't worry about this guy. I'll I'll change it later. I'll I'll work. So now you can see it is simply just go ahead and looping around. That's not what we want to do. We'll fix this problem soon. Soon enough. Uh, before I actually do that, actually let's go ahead and finish the um, incrementer itself. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add two blocks in here. And you can already cut off the side, it's not useful. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and get this part out of here. So two parts that are here. And I'm gonna make a little slab table right here. 
like so. All right. Um, and what I'll also do, um, I'll go ahead and put a slab, I think, right here. And I'll go ahead and bust this up one block. And I'm also going to do the same right here, but what I'll also do, so, um, actually, this one is a little confusing. Oh, I, I see one. So now I should put another block like this. And the slab like this. Now, the top one will also have a slab, but now, this one should be blocked, these ones will have a dust in the torch. So right now it is not synchronized, so... Never mind, it actually works right now. But this is not finished, obviously, because you can see there's no possible way to stop it. So we don't want it to go infinitely like this. We need a way to actually stop this. So, uh, to actually stop this thing from going to loop, what I'm gonna do is add uh, repeaters here. Like this. So this is gonna be a slab tender. And we need to lock all of the repeaters here. And I'll just put a torch in here, a lever, and um, where's the sign? I need to get the sign. There it is. So I'll name it clock. And also, what we need a way is to actually buffer this. So, we want to clear whatever is coming here because when you want to reset program counter, we should set this counter to be a zero. So, that's also very simple. All you gotta do is now power this torch. This will make everything go away. Like this. It's super simple. And, um, I'm not actually gonna invert it this time. And now I'm gonna call it like this so buffer so i believe it should be good and now as you can see when i power this on it goes away also what i think it's better to do here instead of clock i would also like to increment button so uh, to do this i'm just gonna go ahead and add the pulse generator so that's the pulse generator is something like this i'm gonna give it free tech pulse that should be good and that will be a button to uh, clock it so increment basically i'll just call it increment or you can also count, uh, call it count i'm just gonna call it by two ways increment or and or count so now when i press this button actually i need to work on something so this is where you receive your output so your output it comes here you can put a repeater that's so basically the way you get the output i'm just gonna go ahead and put it like this now obviously you can also put it here but what i do recommend is taking it out like this or this whatever so now i'm gonna go ahead and call this not i'm not gonna call it anything because we're done we're done actually so um yeah that seems good but uh oh never mind nice so i'll also go ahead and clear everything out it's already cleared we're good so now let's go ahead and start incrementing so now i should get a one I got a 1, I got a 2, I got a 3, etc. Let's try to clock it, and now, as you can see, it will just infinitely loop. How do you clear it though? Be, what you want to do is hold the buffer lever, and then you want to increment or count. That clears it. And you can then unflick the buffer thingy, and that gets everything out, and that's it. Now let's move on to making a hexadecimal adder actually we're not an adder it's a counter oh my goodness so to deal with the hexadecimal counter i did have one that can also decrement but i completely forgot how to make it that's that's unfortunate but what i'll now make is a counter that basically can already count so add or increment something so how to deal with this one um we need a comparator on subtraction mode and now i need um something which can give a comparator a power of 14 in my case i use barrels so basically what i want to do you also want to put a comparator also in subtraction mode and now this will have a barrel with this content so fill every item uh, except the final one if you have an unstackable item like an axe or a sword also put it in here like this so you can have less swords required to put next up we will need to Put a dust, and then, uh, actually I need a comparator here. Then a comparator, and a comparator like this. So, 
But I give it a, like a power of seven. So where's the where's the shulker box? I already have it in my inventory. Nice. But anyways, so let's give it a power of seven. And now nothing will happen. I'm just kidding. Well, I don't know what actually just happened here. We're gonna find out. So apparently, um, I should put the power of one. I think. Um, I, I don't think that's right. I, I think I messed something up. Well, we're just gonna give it a power of one and see what that gives us. Because there's no way this will actually work. So, I guess, I don't know how to make a hexadecimal calendar. But if I actually know how to make it, I will definitely make a video. So, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.